Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you back again to this special session and I want to thank you for coming around. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for reaching out to us. Thank you for commenting on the comment section. Thank you for also sharing the videos with your friends, family members and uh, relations and loved ones. I appreciate you so, so well. I want to quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. Please do hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. All right, guys. Straight to the news. It says, we need to revisit the Aburi Accord, says Ahamba. All right. As some sectors, sections of the Southeast geopolitical zone of Biafra mark their 53rd anniversary on the declaration of Biafra Republic, a senior advocate of Nigeria, San, Chief Mike Ahamba, has said that time has come when the people of the country should revisit the Aburi Accord. Aburi Accord was reached in 1967 at a meeting attended by delegates of both the federal government of Nigeria, the Supreme Council, so the Supreme Military Council and the Eastern Delegates led by the Eastern Region's leader, Lieutenant Colonel Ujuku. The meeting was billed to be the last chance of preventing all-out civil war. At the Aburi Accord, it was, it was agreed that appointments to senior ranks in the police, diplomatic and consular services, as well as an appointment to super skilled post in the federal civil service and the equivalent post in the statutory corporation must be approved by the supreme military council but the actors in the meeting especially the nigerian side led by then lieutenant colonel yakubu gowon allegedly refused to implement the resolutions which gave rise to the declaration of biafra republic by the then Eastern Region under Lieutenant Colonel Chukwemeka Odimegu Uchuku, who was the then military administrator of the region on May 30th, 1967. Chief Mike Ahamba San, who was the minority leader of Old Imo State in the Second Republic under the National Party of Nigeria, said, that all the things that led to the declaration of the Republic of Biafra 53 years ago by Ujuku are still taking place. Ahamba said that though the political actors in the country we have supposed to learn, we have supposed to learn something from the war to ensure that it doesn't occur again, there is no evidence that those in power learned anything going by their actions. He said they, the leaders, they know that a lesson ought to have been learned, but I doubt if they have learned anything. The provocation that led to the declarations of Biafra is still much around. The provocative actions that led to that incident are still very much around. So, I think the best way to kill that spirit of cessation is not to perpetrate what caused that one as they are doing now. This place, Southeast, is being neglected. The only thing that is not happening now is the pogrom. Every other thing is still in place. I think Nigeria should rethink and not allow anything that can take us to that part again to happen. His father said that the Southeast is being treated by the federal government as non existent in the affairs of the country. The only thing that is not existing right now is the open pogrom, even though there is killing through another source. But there is also illegal killing all around. So, those things are provocative actions that can lead to civil war. And I repeat, that every genuine Nigeria should pray to God that nothing that can bring us to that path again should happen. He advised the federal government 
to be fair in the distribution of what belongs to the country, to be fair in the distribution of amenities, to be fair in the appointment, to be fair in allocation. For example, you have a solution, you have a situation, I beg your pardon, which where, sorry, you have a situation which we have something they call testron when they are paying people 20,000 naira and it remains in four states for four years. That is not right. In recent time, when some money was being distributed from, from a loan to be refunded by everybody and a particular segment of, the, of Nigeria as reported was not included in the distribution. That is not fair. What is your motto? Our motto talks about fairness, freedom and justice. Are we practicing it? That is the problem. How do we arrange the security of a country and exclude people from a particular part of the country and put it into the hands of a particular section of the country? It is provocative. So I think we should consider these things and look at the law that talks about geographical spread so that whenever Nigeria will take any serious decisions, all parts of the country will be involved in it. We need to get a little bit apart to be closer and that can be done by restructuring. A situation where you clamp down or when you clamp people who started as a federal unit, true federalism demands that there is a bit of autonomy in the state and a few people taking care of themselves in the state. But where everybody tries to feed on the same port, everybody will go home and sit down and wait for the others to cook and they will come to the table and head the table. This is what is happening in Nigeria today. We have to work to develop our area to be able to make an input at the center, not the center giving handouts to the areas. It will develop laziness. I believe that we have to pull apart a little in order to be closer in the country. And that is why I am always talking about let us revisit the Aburi Accord. And those who said that there should be no restructuring of any sort whatsoever in this country because they, pre they presently have an undue advantage should know that God has created human beings and refused to tell him what will happen in the future. But now, to be together as a country, I want to repeat, we need to be a bit separate in order to be together. After all, even in marriage, when a couple is quarreling too much, there is what is called judicial separation. You don't divorce them. You make an order of judicial separation. They stay aside for some time, and after some time, you see them coming together again as husband and wife, more closely than before. And for those who think that they are in charge now or responsible, things cannot change. Let them know, as our people normally say, it is not the person who calls the police that usually wins a case. Somebody who didn't call the police can win a case. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? How do you see what um, Chief Mike Ahamba has said? Chief Mike Ahamba is calling for the Aburi Accord to be revisited which literally translates to restructuring. He has not said anything about um, Biafra or calling for a self-determination as it were. But what he has spoken about is that we need to be a little bit apart then to come together and that the Aburi Accord should be revisited, which literally translates to restructuring so that agreements can be reached. A lot of things can be discussed and um, agreements can be reached, new agreements can be reached on how this country can be run. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? How do you see what is going on? 
what do you think can happen? Do you agree and believe that it is the best thing to do? Well, it's what it is. Drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new story. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.